Alif Kaiser Linux for two weeks. Then you guys start taking the crazy pills. Ooga booga. What the frick is happening? And hello there, everybody. It's me. I am on the Grime Productions back in the absolutely crazy world of Kaiser Linux. Before the video starts, a small message from our sponsor, my YouTube channel, in which if we get to 2.5k subscribers, I'm gonna do a Q&A. So amazing, you should go down below and like the video and subscribe right now. And for today's video, I'm gonna play in a nation which you guys is voted well for on my community post. Psych, you guys thought I am Tornado at 3 1 with all democratic elections and shit here. Today, we're gonna play Germany because Deutsch and Tuber Alice. I'm just gonna make a normal game where I just run it, wait for my cool events, show them off to you, and we're all happy. After thinking about it, the only two times I have played Kaiser Redux Germany, I collapsed the economy. So maybe that's speaking something about me. I don't know what, but it's definitely speaking something. My god, the German stock exchange just crashed. How could I predict this? Oh yeah, I'm playing this mod like, you know, every day. Hey, our bugs are failing. What should we do? Absolutely nothing. Minus 30% stability. Oh, the Afghanistan Emirate wants some guns. Of course, we're gonna send him some guns, bro. Afghanistan is my dearest friend. Although most of my economy is kind of dying, I think I'm gonna give all of my civilian factories to the colonies. Because, like, if they fail, my life is just ended. Yeah, of course, I'm gonna send all of my guns to Afghanistan. I love them so much. I imagine helping the companies. Do you think this is some capitalist utopia? No, no, no. This is a Kaiserreich. We don't give a freak about company. Remember when I said this is not a capitalist utopia? No, neither is it. It's a socialist utopia. You guys are not getting free soup or something. Come on. There's, like, no way this leads to a collapse of my government. Eesh, I ran out of jokes. How many more of these events are there? Another one. Vomiting emoji, syndicalism. You may be thinking that minus 15 stability is bad, my, my, but my stability is already minus 100, so it can't go lower. Okay, guys, I understand. Your life sucks. Can we get a civil war already? So with all of this to start the German revolution, for me to just choose the German Empire in. I said this many times already, but this game is just a joke, man. Times to kill some German communist scums. Hey, oh, nice piece, though. I wonder what I'm gonna do to the German revolt. Maybe annex it? Or, like, annex it? No! Hans von Sick just died. I don't know who that guy is, but he's probably sad. Oh, no! Willy nearly the Kaiser Act just died. What should I do? I mean... Just wait at your Bavaria spawns, I guess. And look at that really third the guy. Hey man, can the gypsies fuck off of Bulgaria for one second? After long last, after the death of the William II, you know, Germany has fallen apart and we're gonna choose to become Bulgaria. Uh, Bul did I say Bulgaria? I meant Bavaria. I think normal Germany has a boring fact, but this, this is the epitome of boringness. Realm of South Germany, a pure monarchy, you know, Maybe I should start doing no more his playthroughs for like one second. Interestingly enough, this event still triggers when Germany collapses, not necessarily dies. Towards a united Bavaria. We, we are our recent attempts to integrate and unite various right-wing parties in Bavaria. You know, I don't want to say anything, but last time Germany tried to unite the right-wing parties, shit happened. A new South Germany. Well, I mean, literally nothing changed, bro. I, I don't know how this is new. Ottomans collapsed in 1938. The Ottomans motherfucking collapsed in 1938. What is this Russian intervention in Turkey? I, I have no word. After being KFK for two years, we have finally been able to do the our future focus. And now we have a decision between three paths. We can become Austrian bitches, we can become Austrian plus pluses, or we can just revive a dead empire. And you know, on the Tornado channel, we love to revive their empires. So I was thinking I, get, I must give a chief of staff for the war that's coming up, and I was like, okay, which one should I choose? The guy which gives a recruited population an infantry division attack? The one who gives the recruited population an infantry division attack? Or the one who gives the recruited population an infantry division attack? Do you, you think this is a joke, guys, the developers? You've been... Trolled, you've been trolled. You gotta love the dumb hearts fire AI which willingly walks into you want to get encircled. I was planning to invade Austria, but I guess you guys already did that. Note to self, never invade Switzerland with only infantry. You know how Germany fell apart? I think that really shouldn't have happened, so let's take it back together. What happened to you if you start a democratic nation? I'm gonna come and annex it. A second syndicalist revolution defeated. Imagine living in Leipzig because you're getting liberated. Thank you. Thank you! Tornado831 has freed us! Oh, I wouldn't say free. More like under new management. Man, the Persians have been taking way too long to defeat. 
It's time to show them who's boss with my secret Panzer Force. Unification of Germany, round two, electric boogaloo. So, I believe we're a little bit more than the South German Empire. We want to drop the South part at this point. I think it's finally time to put a stop to this Czechoslovakia motherfucking menace. Because, I don't know how the guys here, the developers didn't thought of this, but having this much buffs, maybe, just maybe, will make a country overpower. Well, that was easy. Okay, I gave the crown of Austria to this crazy Rupentrup guy. You know how Rome is the center of the Catholic Church and thing? And I am the Frankish Empire, which was very centered around the Catholic Church? So I think we need to just go and take Rome for a second. You guys still claiming shit while... I am nearly inside of Rome. I mean, big boss. I don't know what the fuck is happening with the AI today because it's like no defense. I mean, not like I'm complaining or anything. That's literally standing. Technically the truth, I guess. You know, Netherlands, maybe we should just return to the sea. I would like to get a small explanation why the Belgium has uh, quite a bit of divisions considering they are not the biggest nation, my, may I say. I am still in shock that Belgium had 100 divisions, but at least they capitulated. I noticed that France is like dying, so I might to evade them. Yes, I did take Paris. And yes, the French national state did absolutely nothing to help me. Trust me, no cap. Nice naval invasion. Wouldn't it be a shame if somebody had 8 tanks to literally murder you with? I was about to make an emotional speech about depression, still I am. But I was out tapped and it just kind of launched, so well, sorry. So let's play a game. Will my tanks actually arrive to Britain or will they get sunk? That's gonna be a peace deal and a half. Finally, I'm allowed to click the button. You understand how huge this is? From a German general to, to the Emperor of the Franks. That is the real Sigma male grind set. Oh, he got a cool new crown. Oh, that, that's adorable. You guys may have restarted the United Kingdom, but my tanks rolled into London. My tanks rolled into Yorkshire. So, you're welcomed. Now we have united the Frankish Empire once more. It's time to take back our old colonies. I think we didn't really experience the Spanish, but without the S experience. How was Ireland called? The Emerald Isle? I don't remember. I'm just saying it, man. Okay, I have been trying to make an outro for like 2-3 minutes now. Only thing I have to say that if I get 300 likes on this video, I'm gonna make a world conquest with the Frankish Empire. Yes, I want my life to be in pain. So like, subscribe for a Q&A, and I'm out.